trees are alive with some kind of insects making noise. And it's a constant roar. This patch of woods I'm standing beside right here just echoing with noise. You know there's got to be a lot of them bugs in the trees for to make that much noise. I'd like you to meet the 17-year cicada. Here's one on the back of my outstretched hand. Thought I'd hold it up in front of the camera and let you get a look at him. These are definitely some bodacious bugs. In researching these bugs, here's what I found out. These cicadas live on tree roots underground for 17 years. Then they come out of the ground and crawl up a tree trunk in their immature or nymph form. They climb out of their shells and within days they will completely morph into flying adults. I observed them flying and clinging to branches and leaves. The holes in the ground were everywhere and their empty nymph shells were all about. The noise the males make in search of mates is a constant roar. They were very evident in the entire Fort Villa, Georgia area when I was filming on May 10, 2011. This one looks dead, but he ain't. He makes a noise every time I touch him. He's playing dead, though. Whatever he is, he's a good two inches long. And that's what's making the noise in the trees. The trees are just swarming with these things. I picked him up by his wings, and I guess he's a little disoriented. But he flew up here on the roof of my truck now. He's still laying on his side. Whatever he is, he don't bite because I had him in my hand. He'd be a humdinger of a bug, though. I'll have to look him up on the internet when I get home. Here's a shell of one of them bugs, like he done morphed out, climbed out of his shell. I don't know where he went. This one had to be from some time in the past. Looks like the same kind of bug, though, except it's nothing but a dry shell. All right, I'm looking straight down at one on a bush or vine. Obviously, I ain't no bug expert. I don't know if they come out for breeding every 17 years or something or what. It's not common though. That 
vine is just laying on the hood of my car. I expect he's going to take off in a minute. Crawling right across the hood of my car. All right, boy, you gonna take off? Well, he hopped anyway. I was at Flowville rail fanning for a couple hours. Finally, I got enough of the constant roar of the cicadas. Had to call it a day. I don't know how people living in the area can put up with it very long, or how many days this process lasts.